Hello and welcome friends in cloud tutorial session number 3. In the last tutorial, we all have discussed what is virtualization in cloud computing and how virtualization works. Now, in the third tutorial, we are going to discuss the types of virtualization. So, let us see which type of virtualization we are going to study today. In this tutorial session, we are starting with the type 1 virtualization and that is shared kernel virtualization. Shared kernel virtualization indicates that this type of virtualization is based on sharing of kernel. So, let us discuss how it works. So, shared, in shared kernel virtualization, first we have to understand that there is an operating system layer which provides interaction between our physical hardware devices and the, our system softwares and application softwares. So, operating system is a device which provides interaction between our physical devices and our application softwares and kernel is the core part of operating system which provides all the functioning, all the working of operating system and our kernel consists of a root file system, a root file system which contains all the library files and all the necessary files which are required for proper functioning of operating system. So, by knowing all these three facts, we should start shared kernel virtualization. So, what happens in shared kernel virtualization? So, let me understand, let me make you understand through this diagram. In this diagram, you can see that there is a host hardware system at the bottom which represents your physical hardware devices. Upon physical hardware devices, there is a setup of operating system. This is completely a host operating system and its part, its core part that is kernel is shared, is shared by different guest operating systems. These guest operating systems are independent and different in each respect from each other and they are sharing this kernel, kernel which is the basic part of our host operating system. But what we are seeing here is that root file system is separate for each guest operating system. It means each guest operating system is using their separate libraries, their separate files and necessary files are independent and separated from each other. This provides the proper functioning or proper working of the of each guest operating system and here we can see upon each guest operating system there is an individual user and it gives an appearance to the user that the whole system is dedicated for his use. So, here we are seeing that this shared kernel is providing separate root file system to each guest operating system for their proper functioning. So, let us see how shared kernel virtualization works. For its working, the kernel can dynamically change the current root file system which is also called as ch root is change root change root means change root file system to a different root file system without having to reboot the entire system so this is the facility which makes the sharing of kernel possible so kernel is one and it is shared by different operating system and kernel performs ch root that is change of root file system operation and at a time which operating system is in function its root file system is executed by the kernel 
and when it has to switch to the next guest operating system then it do not requires to reboot it just switches and performs the ch root function and executes the functions executes the operation for this operating system also so basically these all operating systems are having their individual root file system and they are sharing the kernel as well as the physical hardware devices so now we are going to discuss our so now we are going to discuss the various examples of shared kernel virtualization so various examples are linux v server solaris zones and containers free vps and open vz are all examples of shared kernel virtualization solutions now we must start our next type of virtualization our next type of virtualization is guest operating system virtualization so let us discuss what is guest operating system virtualization so let us proceed with guest operating system virtualization here guest operating system virtualization indicates that guest of the virtualization is established at the virtual at the application level where the guest operating systems are sharing same operating system same host operating system so in this type of virtualization the physical host computer runs a standard unmodified which is the host operating system and these host operating systems could be uh, linux could be window could be uh, ubuntu could be unix so in this mode guest operating system is unaware that it is running in the guest mode the special thing is this here physical host computer system runs a standard operating system like windows and unix and here the operating system runs over as virtualization application upon the common host operating system let me make you understand with this diagram in this diagram you are seeing that physical hardware devices this is the host hardware system is at the bottom upon which host operating system layer is there and upon the host operating system we have set up a virtualization application environment virtualization application environment so here we are seeing that virtualization application is set up upon the host operating system and this virtualization application undertakes the working of each guest operating system so here different types of guest operating systems are running over a common host operating system so operating system is shared among all these guest operating system and each guest operating system is worked upon by a separate user so each user is thinking that he is the only one who is using this entire system and here we can understand this concept by like hardware system is at the bottom and operating system is in between which provides the interaction between the hardware system and the system software or the application software and here our guest operating system is running in the application mode in the application mode it provides separate or independent feed to each guest operating system and they do not interfere with each other so this concept so this concept uses a very new thing that is unknown to most of the people so let us see what is that new concept so that thing is binary rewriting binary rewriting means it provides it makes the instruction stream of each guest operating system is scanned first and then the instruction stream of each guest operating system is replaced by a privileged instruction of the host operating system 
and it provides you the safer emulation or the safer production of the guest operating system. This effect makes guest operating system thinks that it is running directly over the physical hardware system within an application. So let us see the various examples of guest operating system virtualization which are VMware server and virtual box. So these were the two types of virtualization for seeing the more different type of virtualization I will upload tutorial sessions more tutorial sessions regarding different type of virtualization so thank you friends thank you for watching keep watching and kindly share and subscribe my channel